um, here it's the same. I have uh, very many friends, colleagues, and I'm really looking forward to this conference because it should be a lot of interesting topics here. And uh, the main idea here, it is very important to show people that we are just not material beings. We are not just uh, mechanisms that process something and do something. We are much more than that. We are part of universe consciousness. And we are designed to create this universe consciousness. And now I am glad that our science came to this conclusion. Now we have uh, clear evidences from quantum physics that everything is interconnected, that we exchange this information and we are a part of a tremendous universal plan that is designed to create a consciousness for universe. That's the main idea that we have here. And for me it's not just philosophy, it is very practical activity. Uh, in Russia I have a center, I work with institute, uh, I am a member of professor in the university as well. So I have many, many students, I have many people around myself. And we have many colleagues worldwide. Now our approach, our technology, uh, bioelectrography, electrophotonic capturing, uh, becoming more and more known to people because we study energy fields, energy fields of people, of plants, of seeds, of animals. And we demonstrated in many years that energy fields, those are the basis of a lot of features that we have in our life. It's the basis of psychology. That's why we have program that allows us to see psychological parameters from energy field. This is the basis of our temperament and our the way how we communicate with other people. Because we communicate first of all by energy fields, only then we communicate verbally or consciously. It means that we exchange with each other information through our fields. And this is the first how we interact with each other. Only later on it comes to our conscious and we consciously process it and we decide how what we do. And of course women are much more sensitive to this and they are much more intuitive and uh, they are of course they are much more superior to men, it's understandable. And uh, that's why for women it's much easier to feel it and to be involved in this on a big scale. And with our instruments, with our technology, we can measure it, we can demonstrate it. We can really see how it works in real life. So, a uh, very important moment now we have in medicine. Worldwide, there are more and more uh, professionals, doctors, who are transforming from classical, very narrow medicine, first of all, uh, medication medicine, to more broad, holistic medicine. Medicine of body, mind and spirit. And in this holistic approach, we can get tremendous results. And we work in uh, Russia with many top-level doctors. We have big project in oncology. We have big project in cardiovascular diseases. We have big project in osteopathy in reflexology and in all those projects we try to implement holistic ideas we try to combine different technology both classical conventional and new that is only coming so we are using a lot of electromagnetic devices with wide broad spectrum of electromagnetism from high frequency fields up to light and light is very important we use a lot of uh, manual techniques, interaction of people, starting from massage to osteopathy and to uh, healing and remote healing. And uh, now it is more and more implemented in medicine practice. Because in Russia we have a lot of doctors, top level professionals who are very open to new ideas. And they are ready to accept these ideas and to use it on uh, full scale.